The Ubuntu Touch developer preview was released to the public earlier today, and you might be wondering how you can get it on your own devices. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is how you install the Ubuntu Touch developer preview on a Nexus 7. The first thing you need to do is to back up your device. You're going to lose your pictures and everything in this, so make sure you have a backup of everything. Also, you will need ADB set up on your computer, and your device's bootloader will have to be unlocked. Once you have those two things ready, you will need to boot to the bootloader. Plug the device in, type in ADB reboot bootloader, and the device will reboot. From there, we will flash Torp, a custom recovery, which will allow us to flash Ubuntu. From the terminal, type in fastboot flash recovery and the name of the recovery image. This will take just a second, and then you will need to boot into the recovery mode. Once the recovery comes up, it's time to back up the device. Hit the backup option, swipe, and wait. This will take a few minutes, and once it completes, you'll need to offload the backup to an external drive. The next step is to wipe the device. From the main screen of Twerp, select Wipe, Factory Reset, and swipe your finger. This will take just a few seconds, or maybe a little longer if you haven't reset your device in a while. Then it's on to the real stuff. From Canonical's page, you will need to download two files. You will need to download one specifically for the grouper, or the Nexus 7, and the main Ubuntu image. These are big files, so this could take some time. Your device should still be in the recovery mode, so once those are downloaded, select Advanced, ADB Sideload, and then swipe your finger. In the terminal on your computer type ADB sideload and the name of the first recovery image the one specific to the grouper or the Nexus 7 and wait this one should not take too terribly long once it finishes you will be met with the option to reboot the system hit back select ADB sideload once again and swipe back on your computer in the terminal type in ADB sideload and the name of the second image the general phablet image hit enter and wait this one is the large image it's almost 500 megabytes and it will take some time to transfer over to the device and then to flash. So wait this one out for a few minutes, and once it does finish, hit Reboot System. The device will take several minutes to reboot, and once it does, you will see the Ubuntu Welcome screen. Swipe from right to left to access the main screen, and you now have Ubuntu for tablets installed on your Nexus 7. It may take some time for the install to finally complete. It'll be a little laggy at first, and then it should speed up and be pretty fun to use. The great thing about this entire process is that it's just as easy to go back to Android as it is to flash Ubuntu. Simply download the stock image from Google, boot back into the bootloader, and flash the stock image back to the device. And in no time, you will be back to Android just how you were before. If this video helped, give us a thumbs up below and follow the channel for more videos like this. Also, be sure to follow us on your social networks of choice. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.